All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So today is Friday. That means that we are playing the Necros, and hopefully I do okay with it. I mean, I have a feeling that I might fuck it up, but uh, there's a good chance that I won't fuck it up and be able to pull out some awesome plays, because, uh, yeah. So the polls are already up, people. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, it just seems like I just started playing with Necros. So uh, if you guys can give me, go ahead and give me another month, I, I'd be very appreciative, because, you know, holy crap, it's been a month. Like, wow. Anyway... Um, let me just begin by saying, like, if you if you haven't watched a race yet, like, watch a race. <laughs> this anime is so fucking good, man. So good. Alright, so Trump, she doesn't have a pendulum effect, so I guess she's just in the pendulum scale. Sure. Go and get the pendulum based deck, so that's great, and by great, I mean, no, it's not great. But I can trish him, I think. I can pitch you to go ahead and get me, uh, oh my god. I'm trying to think. I could pitch you to go ahead and get me Trish. I could pitch you to go ahead and get me um, Necro's Mirror. Banish these two. Summon Trish. Yeah, I, I believe I can do that. And if I'm doing it incorrectly, then once again, I apologize because I'm not a Necro's player, of course. But I would love to, you know, get better at it just, you know, as time progresses. So go ahead and pitch you as well. No. And I need Necro's Mirror, because I banish Necro Monster from my graveyard, then special summon one Necro Monster from my hand, so that will equal the total level, so. So, I'm just gonna simply drop Trish on your ass, I mean, simple as that. <laughs> so. And it's like, what, they can't be targeted by opponents, and they cannot be targeted by opponents, card effects, so. I kind of want to get rid of the Skyrus, but I kind of want to get rid of his set monster too, because I have no idea what it is, so. That wouldn't be a terrible plan, so. And banish you and you hold on to the mathematician for right now go ahead and summon you activate Trisha effect since you did put that terraform in the graveyard like I'm really appreciative uh, I don't want you to pop and get your searches though like you can set up more pendulum scale so I think I'll go ahead and, I'm not sure if your monster will be a threat but that sky risk can definitely be a threat so give me that terraforming too thank you for putting the terraforming in there and it looks like I hit insight yeah I hit insight cool cool so Go ahead and summon that mathematician, and um, I'm going to send. Okay, he's just gonna go ahead and scoop. So <laughs> I opened up nicely, nice enough to fuck him up. I opened up that Dabrila at one, the Glow at one, a mathematician at one. Like, let's go, number here. All right, let's go ahead and get another duel. Very back. All right, another duel. Just been so busy lately. Like, you, like you guys have been getting your regularly scheduled content, but I literally recorded. Uh, daily duels for Wednesday and Thursday on Tuesday. Super busy. Uh, I got my car. If you guys are wondering what's up, what happened with the car, because I know I recently put up a video talking about uh, getting an, uh, well, a new car, getting Melvin's car. I got Melvin's car. Melvin got his new car. I got Melvin's car. And uh, that is just, that's fantastic, you know? And I really do uh, appreciate him uh, you know, deciding to go ahead and hand the car off to me. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a great, great day. It really is. Uh, I think I might just go ahead and activate Brilliant Fusion, send, send, summon you back, summon you, and then go into, like, Wrath. Yeah, I think that'd be a fine play. Just, I don't know, I, I really feel like I'm playing against Monarchs, and uh, you guys know I've had it up to here with Monarchs, I really have, like, I, I, I don't want to do Monarchs anymore, it's just, whenever you see that no extra deck, it's just like, oh my god, like, you know? It's like, no, I don't want to duel against something with no extra deck, like, he has a lot of set cards, like, three set for Monarchs, that, that, that's a lot, it really is. So I'll go ahead and summon 1,000 plays, I might as well poke you for 13, yeah. Or you can hit me with the Toronto Tribute or whatever, I mean, I'm pretty much set up, I mean, that 1,000 blade and Trick Clown, so. The only thing that suck is that, you know, Trick Clown would be like, hey, you know, I want to cut off, but I always got the, the, you know, the reset button. Oh, he's just gonna hit me with Mirror Force, so, okay, that's fine. Like, you wasted Mirror Force on one fucking card? Like, nah, nah, nigga, I wouldn't have done that. Personally, I wouldn't have done that. One one card, and at least get a little bit more bang out of your buck, but I guess you assumed that I was going to go into rank 4 in main phase 2. Oh, uh, uh, that's fine. That's fine. She served her purpose. She really did. She's already served her purpose. Sending that Trick Clown. And giving me a rank 4 shenanigans, so. And you can never complain about the rank 4 shenanigans. And then, once again, he's not really doing anything. It picked Colossalus, but what would that do, you know? I, I kinda, I kind of really need to draw like another Necros monster, whether it be uh, Trish or uh, uh, Valkyrus. I mean, I have the Star Eater and I have built the, uh, the 
the Quasar, so I can I can bust out both of them. I just need something for it to go with Colossalus, definitely. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take both slots. There's really no point. I'm gonna hold on to my Estefusions, hold on to my Northern Place for the future. Read my opponent a little bit more. Because, despite it, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, it'll kill my Trick Clown. Trick Clown will go off, and then and then I'll summon back my uh, Thousand Blades. Like, you know, I'm okay. But he's not playing any monsters, so I'm really kind of pondering on whether I should go into, like, Wrath, you know? Oh, there's Brio, so that's nice, so I guess I'll just go ahead and Trish him because I can. <laughs> yeah. Trish him because I can. How does that? That sounds like a, a, a doozy. Go ahead and activate uh, Kaleido, send that to uh, Quasar, and summon you too. Trish, and summon you too. Trish, thank you for you know putting that stuff in the graveyard for me. So, uh, never mind. He has a fiendish chain. I I wonder if then my opponent's actually gonna duel me. Is he just gonna hit me with back row? Cause this is already getting kind of irksome to say the least. Cause he's not doing anything. I can always go into fusion, summon Norden, Norden summon back, and go into like Diamond Direwolf. That wouldn't that wouldn't be a terrible play. Just to start clearing up some of this back row. There's a reason why we play it, right? really wants to make sure that I'm not doing shit. Like, holy shit, there's a lot of, there's, there's being a ton of back row played right now. Yes. Let's a thousand blades. I really don't really, I really don't care about the fiendish chain on my Trish, to tell you the truth. I kind of would rather pop the other card right now. I'm kind of debating. Going to Diamond Dire Wolf with... I guess you and you detach you no detach you. Yeah. You and you go to Diamond Direwolf. Direwolf, get your effect, detach, target yourself and I said I'm kinda of sick and tired of your damn back row, but I kinda of wanna get it in with Trish. So I'll leave that alone. Hopefully, it's, it, I mean, it's probably going to be like another mirror force, knowing my luck. So, sucks that I didn't get the Trish banish, but at least I can attack with the 27 beater and start getting into this duel and bringing his life points down. I mean, Colossus is pretty useless. He has no extra deck monsters, so it's not going to get much use out of that. But so far, it's just been back row. Like, we can just chain solemn warning and stuff like that. You're going to pop your own shit. You're going to pop your own shit. What'd you pop? Yeah, your ritual spell? Cool cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. So you're playing Prediction Princess. I didn't even know this entire duel because you weren't doing anything. Let's go ahead and get another duel right back. So I guess it wasn't Prediction Princess at all because we clearly didn't see anything in the extra deck. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, there's not a single... Oh, great, Monarchs. Like, no, I'm good. Get her back. Nope, nope, sick of monarchs. I don't want to see. I don't want to see anything meta until I get that ban list. Like that, that's pretty much how I feel. I don't want to see none of that until I get that fucking ban list, man. All right, this hand's pretty good. Lots of searchability and stuff like that. Pitch, Brio, get a search. Some Manju, get a search. So, not bad, not bad, not bad. I might, I might even be able to trish this man actually. Go ahead and start it off with an insta fusion. Like that's that's wow. Like, you don't want to take it slow. Get more bang out of your northern buck. But hopefully no one get oh it's fluffles. Fuse into uh Saber would be pretty good right now. Just so Saber can summon you back, uh Fluffle Sheep, because there's really no point in summoning Fluffle Sheep when it's just gonna die at the end phase. Like hopefully you pull up a little bit more than that. Like, okay, you're just gonna let it die. Like, mm. What was the point of that? <laughs> like please, please. Enlighten me. What was the point of that? Alright, well I don't have the right mirror. I can go ahead and summon Manju. Manju can search me for... Uh, I'm trying to think. I kind of just want to take it slow. I mean, there's not too much of a threat right now. There really isn't. Uh, I think it's the fusion in the morning. I'm going to take it slow. I kind of want to get a Kaleido. 
because I can do some collateral plays in the future. I could do a collateral play now, but you know, I don't want to take it that fast. And unless I'm playing the deck completely wrong, then in which case I apologize once again. I'm not even sure what I want to search with video right now. <laughs> so, I guess I'll just take it slow. He kind of caught me off guard with that Insta-Fusion play. Like, what was the point of that? Like, you went Insta-Fusion and summon back sheep, and then you did nothing with it. I thought you maybe even some fuse in the Saber, and the Saber's going to summon back the sheep. There's nothing for you to attack into to come back. I, thought, I guess I'm assuming that maybe you misplayed and thought that you and you just destroy periods. Like, you're only when you, sh you only come back when you show up battle to get out of the release of Insta-Fusion. Besides that, you're still going to die, so. <sighs> anyway, I'm just super tired right now. Oh, Mouse. Mouse is probably one of my favorite fluffles. I love Mouse, but... It's just not good, really, in the back. But it's so cute. Like, it's so adorable. Look at it. It's a cute little donut. No. It's a cat, so... I'm gonna go ahead and special summon Fluffle Owl. It's probably going to special summon out of Polly. So I'm definitely gonna be uh, seeing some fusion plays this turn, which isn't terrible. You know? It's just... Right now, you're not as scary as I definitely know a Fluffle player could be. You know? Like, I got plays... For, I got resources and plays right now. Alright, he's got another mouse, so summon another mouse. Like, what are you gonna go? I guess, I'm assuming you're gonna go into Wolf. I mean, if you got Wolf and you can OTK me, then. Alright, I mean, I don't have anything in my graveyard for Necros and Valkyries to block me with, so. But you. Go ahead and MST your own toy vendor and take the neg. <laughs> like, that's a neg. That, that's definitely a neg, but hopefully it was worth it. So, Polly. Go ahead and fuse all of this. I don't think I know the last card in your hand. Oh, he's just gonna go in. Yep, wolf. So, I think that might be game. I think that might be game. Cat, we'll go get you that back, and uh, you get to attack me, what, five times? Five times? That's game. Yep. Got a TK by fucking wolf. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I should have overextended a little bit more. Oh well, I guess that's what I get. I'm more of a passive player. Definitely not very aggressive. Except when I play five wolves, because I just wanted to kill with wolf, but... If I would have busted out maybe like a ritual summon, I might have survived. Maybe even Raph. Maybe Raph would have even been better than just leave myself open like that. Like, like wow, this man has the nerve to say GG. Like, I literally searched for one card and did nothing. Like, mm, whatever. Get right back. Alright, another duel. Uh, I probably should have Insta Fusion and went into Raph. Raph Alicia. That would have been better. Then at least I could have forced him to do something different. This opening hand's not fantastic either. Not at all, not at all. Hmm. Maybe I'll just take it slow. That's treacherous, so at least I could pop too much in the field. I'm gonna hold off on the foolish until I see what I want to send. Because I could blindly send and, you know, reveal my deck or reveal my plays, or I could just take it slow. Because I might want to send, you know, uh, Glow Up, I might want to send Trick Clown, I might want to send Thousand Blades. It really depends right now. So, I'll just set the treacherous trap hole. So far, I'm okay. Lossless can go ahead and pitch me to get a necro spell, which is not the greatest. I can go. I can summon both of these guys, so that's not a terrible play. It's really not. Hmm. Pitch the foolish. Pitch the foolish twin twister pop both of those. Summon both of these. Hmm. I think I might just do it. I might give up my foolish. Those twenty, please. Bottomless and warning. Like, yep. Got rid of that number generator. Not bad. Go ahead and send that star eater. Summon both of you. Some new defense mode. I really don't got much juiciness to tribute for Valkyrie, so I guess I could tribute uh, Colossalus. Uh, maybe I'm misplaying. Maybe I'm going too in. I'm not sure right now. But it was nice to twin twister. I mean, bottomless and warning. Like, please go away. <laughs> Of course, Colossus can go ahead and handle any Cyber Dragon Infinity shenanigans that he wants to pull off, so that's pretty good. And I got Treacherous Trap Hole, so he busts out, pretty much he busts out two Cyber Dragons, I got him. Oh, um, yeah, no, I, forgot. I keep on forgetting you can search Galaxy Soldier like that. So, summon that Cyber Dragon. No, that's fine. I'm assuming Pitch to Special Summon Galaxy Soldier to get a search. Yep. And then try to go into that infinity. Like, this is literally infinity deck right now. Try those two for me. So, 
How about no infinity this turn? Even though I can't handle infinity, man, I have fucking colossal list, so. You could just drop your attack to zero and, you know, negate your effect, which is just great. <laughs> but you can just go ahead and calm down for right now. Just calm down, calm down, you know. You don't need to do all of that. I don't need Kaleido right now. And it's monsters, right? It's not just discarding the like, tribute monsters. Yeah, it's tribute monsters. Ah, sorry I sound so monotone lately. Uh, in this video, I'm just just tired, really tired. I've just been so busy running around, had to go to the DMV, get the card of my name. It's just ugh, really drained, really drained. And, and Dragon Ball Z League, White Cast, just I've been just schoolwork. Despite being spring break, I've just been really busy with schoolwork because I don't want to fall behind. I'm about to start university, and that's going to be super expensive. I don't want to put you in attack mode because I don't want him to summon and run you over Colossal, so I'll just attack. Like, it's not the best of duels right now. Definitely not. And all these guys do is, when they're in the graveyard, I can banish to get a search of a Necro Spell or Trap, which isn't what I really need. I would love. I mean, as a Necro Spell, I would love to go ahead and get some more monsters, though. Like, it is not looking too hot for me. It's not what I need to draw at all. Well, he is totally planning on frickin' uh, busting out infinity, like, like we've never seen before. So now you're gonna start to drive your and special on the Cyber Dragon Pitch, summon Nova Infinity. But then when you go into, oh, try. I mean, same thing, it's literally the same thing. Uh, but when you go into infinity and you try to either, you know, attack me, well, you probably won't attack me, you probably just use your foul, never mind, he had infinity in hand anyway. Uh, when you try to use your effect to eat me, I'll just be like, alright, Colossus negate you. And then you'll be like, Infinity negate you, and I'll be like, fuck me. It's just it's Infinity on deck, I mean, what do you expect, right? So then I'll, I'll die because of Infinity negate, and then I'll get eaten, so. So, hey, Infinity dot deck. I mean, we banned Ptolemyos and still Infinity dot deck. I don't even want to touch you, because I. I, I, I have no idea. I mean, all you can still slap an infinity on, so you're gonna have to summon Cyber Dragon. So. Yeah, I'm, 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 in, I'm in shit. I'm up shit's creek right now with infinity. Probably like one of the best plays I can do is maybe as soon as he's in summon, activate Colossus, then get him. No, no, that would be the same end result. It, it end result. The end justifies the means, and you're still gonna lose. Uh, Ptolemy's ban and Infinity are still annoying, but at least it's in its own deck, at least it's not like in a rank 4 spam deck, right? At least it can only go into Infinity once per turn, I mean I got fucking nothing left, so... Maybe I shouldn't have overextended with that play. You know? So the end result's gonna be the same. Infinity dot deck. I mean, and, and then someone suggested Cyber Dragons on the polls. Like, no, thank you. I don't want to go with Cyber Dragons again. This is this is Cyber Dragons now. Like, Infinity dot deck. That is Cyber Dragons now. You know, I've lost all respect for the the fusion. It seems like the deck has lost all respect for the fusion mechanic. You know, why go into fucking twin or you know Cyber End when you could just Infinity, 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 right? I mean, this is this is clear Infinity dot deck. Going Galaxy Soldier and all that. Like, I played this deck. And, I got bored of it, because it gets boring, it really does. It's too, it's too, just, too linear, it's too simple. Fuck it. I got nothing left, so fuck it. I'm surprised he didn't eat my Valkyries. Infinity on deck takes so much skill. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It's just any shape or mean bust out level five machines and make infinity. Ooh, it's just boring. No strategy. There's no planning. There's nothing. Just fucking cookie cutter bust out that infinity. So and if I scoop it up, I can go ahead and get another duel because there's no fucking way I got this. There's nothing. I got nothing left. It's infinity. Come on. There was nothing for me. Absolutely nothing for me, so. Then scoop it up. I'll get one more duel. I'm just getting unlucky. Be right back. Alright. Get one more duel. Like I said, I totally wouldn't mind if this deck was on the polls once again. This opening hand's not terrible. It's actually pretty good, actually. 
I can go ahead and summon the Colossalus. Colossalus can search me. Oh, according to this, great. Mm-hmm. God, Burning Abyss is so powerful. Still is. Like, that's the crazy thing. It still is. It's got his one graph because number generated. I mean, that's right there. I got a Genki Glow Bulb, so. Uh, I can go ahead and summon. Uh, search for Colossalus. Colossalus Pitch. Get me Clyde and then summon these two. That wouldn't be a terrible place, just. You know, I would love to draw Twin Twister right now because I know he probably has a like, great horn or anything along those lines and we get fucked up. Oh, never mind. I don't even have to do that. Like, just pitch. Like, we'll go ahead and get Clyde I mean, I'm definitely not the, the hot piece of shit that Necros used to be. Definitely not, but I can try, right? Greyhorn? I know you got back row. Like, or Fire Lake. I mean, it's all the same. I mean, I still resolve my effect, so... It's still pretty decent, at least. But... Alright, so... <sighs> Sir hasn't gone off. Dante is gonna go off. My best is to go ahead and banish Sir. Okay, effect. Get something back. Sir still goes off? Still, so, what? Like, nigga, you're banished. Ah, oh, no. Fuck it. Get another duel. We are back. Ah, oh, so tired. So, ugh. I'm just, I'm just so busy lately. I need that Twin Twister last duel. If I would have had that Twin Twister last duel, I might have been able to do something. It doesn't matter how much Twin Twister you have when the back row outnumbers. I only have so many Twin Twisters in exchange for how many pieces of back row in this game that we call Yu-Gi-Oh? What? Alright. I have a monster that does seven from a deck dark guy, and then you can have one ritual spell. Well, I don't have any ritual spells, so perhaps not the best card right now. I can get one, though, so I might go ahead and uh, I'm trying to think what I want to do right now. Level 7 of all from your deck. I might Twin Twister, then prep. Get me Colossalus and then do that play. <sighs> what the fuck? Number generator, bottomless and warning. Once again, like, holy shit. And once again, I got the Twin Twister for it. Like, like history repeats itself. I'm sure it doesn't it. So, I definitely want to get Kaleido. And then you'll search me Colossalus. Wow, just the same plays over and over again. Well, I guess I can get Brio, and Brio can get me Colossalus. History repeats itself. Alright, he's just gonna scoop, because I got him. Because I'm pitch, get Colossalus, play Clyde, send those two, summon Trish, banish that, banish that, banish that in the hand, and I'll still be totally fine with Colossalus and Brio and Trish, and I have the institution play for setup for next turn. So, I uh, just trick your solemn warning, your bottom list number generator that just seems like it's repeating itself in this fucking video and uh, winning. So thank you Twin Twister. You're seriously one of my favorite spell cards right now. Go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. Alright. That's it. I apologize for monotonous. Just tired. I'm trying to focus on this damn duel. Let me guess Monarchs. That's it. I'm just, I just want the ban list to go ahead and come so I don't have to even see if Monarchs are, are, are hit and always hide and duel when they're hit. But yeah, I just don't really want to deal with the meta until that ban list comes. I thought it was going to be on Thursday. I thought it was going to be yesterday, but I guess not. I mean, maybe they want to go ahead and sell a premium goal for like a good week or two, and then they'll go ahead and uh, release the hounds, as we might say. <laughs> uh, it sounds not fantastic, but it's not terrible either. I mean, I drew the one Garnet, but I mean, that's just number generator for you. Like, at this point, if no one believes in number generator who watches my YouTube channel, then you can just fucking leave, because let's go. <laughs> Number generator all the way, right? Am I right, people? I know I'm right. Uh, guess I can go ahead and search for unicorn, do that play, and get an additional search. That wouldn't be terrible. Really wouldn't. Just go ahead and do the classic necros place, right? Is that got the Kaleido. I'll go ahead and send that herald, send that unicorn. 
the damage in the search. I mean, it's not like unicorns are gonna get any fucking use at all, right? Like, oh, I negate extra attack monsters. Cool story. He has no extra attack. He's probably playing monarchs, and he didn't want to overextend, so he just took it slow. Like, wouldn't be surprised if this one's that card's like either summoning or in their prime or something. Would not be surprised. I guess I'll go ahead and search for Riel and then hold on to it and see what happens next turn. I'm gonna use I'm attack with these two, then XC these two into Wrath. And main phase two, if they survive. Like, if it's a mirror, of course, then alright, that's fine. But definitely want to go ahead and turn these two into a wrap and main phase two after I get some damage in, right? So the deck is fun. Necros is totally fun. It's just. Damn. Like, they got hit. They did. It's, it's it's still playable. It's just. Like, I can. Uh, now, since I've played Necros, since they've gotten hit, I can definitely see how uh, how Shreya is the, the shit. Because. I would love to just use, you know, high searchability of getting a monster that I can use as my full tribute. Full fucking tribute? Like, let's go, but no. No. You actually gotta do more calculator play. You actually gotta think. So, I'm fine with that. You know, Unicorn at one, yeah. Rio at one, yeah. So, I, I understand all the hits. I get I get him. Let's go into Wrath. I'll hold on to the Twin Twister. There's no point in setting it. I'll, I'll play it when I get turned by his back row. Wow, I have powerful Wrath. Oh, it's emergency teleport this entire time. I, um, I guess Cosmos. I mean, Cosmos don't need an extra deck. It's nice to have your toolbox, but hey, not everybody thinks that way, right? Yeah, it's Cosmos. So, once again, dueling against the meta. No, that's fine. There's really no threat from her right now. Like I said, it's just... I'm on Wide Drill Pro, I guess there's no, you know, radio system. If there is, then, you know, fuck it. So, I guess now would be a pretty good time to go ahead and do Treacherous. I'm gonna go ahead and chain and hop out of the way, more power to you, but... Are you gonna do a double hop? Destroyer, Forerunner. Eh, at least I got a Farm Girl. Oh, he has another Emergency Teleport. Never mind. I mean, why not? I mean, it's at multiples. Yeah, Emergency Teleport should get hit down the one. So many monsters from your deck is crazy. It really is. It's super fun to pawn Yu Gi Oh! But then when you have multiple Emergency Teleport, like, yeah. Emergency Teleport doesn't get hit down to one. I'll be shocked. I would just think it's pretty much just biased for. Cosmos. <laughs> it's not even once per turn either. So you can play as many emergency teleports as you want. Ah, Dr. Schroeder. Hey, what's up? Go ahead and hop out of the way for a Dr. Schroeder. So, do you got a game? Is that the FTK? Pop there, so maybe summon like a good witch, attack, attack, then pop out of the way for the last card to attack for game. Like, hmm? God, I wish I could. I wish I could play this power. Wicked witch. Another fun girl. We only get our effect once per turn, so. No way, you get the search effect multiple times. That's busted. That's busted. Should get her then you should get that effect once per turn too, but nah. Get that multiple times. Sure. Ah. <sighs> you can only hop out of the way once per turn now. So at least I don't have to worry about dying this turn, but I got fucking nothing for this. Like maybe maybe Insta Fusion summon some back, go into Bistol or Detach Regeki, and then uh, possibly. I think I might have game. I think I might have game. Because Dweller... Dweller is 17. This is 19. I think I might have game. It really depends on if he allows me to do my, do my shenanigans. Oh, wait. I can get my search. And I can search for... Uh... Uh... A 
at least Kaleido. Yeah, I'll search for Kaleido. Then I could pitch Brio, get get Trish, and then there's those two right there. Then all I need to do is make an Abyss Dweller, and then chain its effect on summon unless he doesn't let me get it. And then Regeki, you won't float, and even if you're out of the way, whatever, you summon's still gonna get regeki and tack tack game. Yeah, simple as that. So I think I might have this duel. Pretty nice that he wasn't able to uh, OTK me. So I just need to get off Dweller without getting interrupted is pretty much the point. Like, I mean, he has Dark Destroyer and he can go ahead and spot pop, but I think I still have the Garnet to summon and make it to Dweller anyway. So either way, I'm getting Dweller. Ah, like, oh, Dweller, you're so good. So let's see if you want to go farm girl effect, pop out of the way, summon drop destroyer, pop one of my monsters, in which case I'd be like, alright, summon Garnet, and then still go into Abyss Dweller. Like, either way, I'm going into Abyss Dweller. And, and Dweller, of course, is just win more. Like, just so good. Uh, Dweller effect. I should detach the other monster, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Just knowing the fact that you're not floating is great. Sure. Sure. Crazy. Uh, send you two, and then that should be game. 12 plus 27. Is that 39? Yeah, that's game. You don't have any cards in the field, so I don't get my fact. But still go ahead and wrap this shit up, B. Ah, uh, winner. Winning. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, people. I'm going to go ahead and call it an uh, episode. Uh, like I said, I apologize for my own time. I'm just, I'm just exhausted lately, and I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way because I'm still busy. Uh, like I said, despite spring break, I got a lot of work to do. I'm about to go into uh, university soon. Uh, it's just, uh, and I'm super hungry. I need, I need to go eat dinner or something like that. I'm waiting for mom to get home so we can go eat dinner, but yeah. So, I apologize, I'll try to be more energetic uh, on tomorrow's live stream. I just need some sleep, but uh, I didn't want to, you know, get so swamped and busy that, uh, you know, this would fall by the wayside. So anyway, the polls are up. Go ahead and uh, vote. Looking forward to seeing what you guys vote for. Um, like I said, I wouldn't mind another um, month of Necros, but if no, then I pretty much got the gist. I mean, like I said, I built this deck from the ground up after getting trained by uh, Forever Epic, and I think I did a fairly decent job, so... I don't know. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow at the live stream. Uh, and next week with some, uh, hopefully, some deck profiles and uh, new decks being added on to uh, Daily Duel. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.